I've always found it really, really helpful to listen to um, case studies, real life examples, real experiences um, that uh, people have had uh, around Agile, whether it's positive or negative, because it's something that we can always learn from. And yes, there's a lot of fantastic uh, theory out there uh, around Agile and the different methodologies, but to actually uh, talk to people and talk about their real life experiences um, really helped me. And I still seek those stories out um, when I'm talking to fellow Agilists, uh, I'm asking what, uh, you know, what's happened recently as an example of, of how Agile was used. I'm collecting these stories also um, through reading various books, um, watching videos. You can pick all these things up. And one thing that we're going to do uh, throughout these pathways is sprinkle uh, sp sprinkle in uh, real life stories. Uh, some of them uh, experiences that we've had um, and some of them we're going to invite uh, colleagues, Agilists, uh, who have um, a great little story to tell um, so that we can really get a sense of, of how this actually works. Um, one story I just wanted to leave you with in this first pathway is, um, is a particular aspect of the uh, rebrand that we did for a large um, customer facing portal. Um, there, there are lots of stories that are going to come out from, from this particular example because there are lots of different things that, that we learned in that. Um, but one of the things that was really interesting was we only had four weeks to deliver uh, this rebrand. Uh, so what we all agreed was that we were going to deliver a light rebrand. We were going to make sure that we delivered the minimum that we needed to uh, in order to give the look and feel of the new company so that our customers could find us, uh, they could uh, uh, they could uh, see, go into the portal and, and know that they were interacting with this new company. Uh, and so we changed the logo, we changed obviously the name, um, the colors, um, all, of the, all of the important links, the legal um, wording uh, and so on. Uh, but what was really um, kind, of, kind of fun and good for us to think about is that we agreed it was the light rebrand and that then we will have the full proper rebrand after the, the company effectively came into existence um, after the launch um, of the new company. Um, and uh, it took us, I'd say, four weeks, uh, two sprints to get us uh, fully rebranded. We delivered that on time uh, and, uh, and, and on budget. Um, in fact, we, I think we were a bit early, which was kind of cool. Uh, and then we started work thinking about how long it would take us and what we would do to make um, a full rebrand. And uh, we were estimating that it was probably going to take um, maybe um, three months or so um, to for all the work, um, all the pre-work in terms of the UX, um, all of the design and everything else to get to a point where we could do this. So we knew that this was going to be a reasonably expensive uh, uh, experience, a reasonably expensive project. But as we went into the first meeting and we started discussing what we were going to do, we, we kind of looked at what we had done in, in those very short four weeks. And, um, and we kind of went, well, is there anything wrong with <laughs> what we've actually delivered here? Do we need to go through a whole, um, a whole exercise? Or why don't we actually pivot those people that we had allocated to the full rebrand onto other projects, onto other things that we could do that would have more value um, by talking to our customers, talking to the users um, and, and internally as well. We agree that we didn't need to do that. So by delivering that this, and this is the point of this story, by delivering something fast, obviously well, but delivering it fast, delivering the first MVP, that minimum viable product, something that we could all stand behind, we actually saved ourselves probably three, maybe even four months of work um, because we'd actually delivered something that was more than good enough in that short period of time. And these are the sorts of stories that we're going to see um, as we go through the pathways um, of examples where we just save massive amounts of um, expected spend because we are thinking and working uh, in an agile way.